Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like I start like every single video <laughs> sat here. Sorry about that. I guess that probably is maybe getting a little bit boring. Um, but the reason I do it, oh, my eyelashes are stuck together. <laughs> the reason I do it is because this is kind of the best spot for lighting in the house because I'm in front of a window. Um, I feel like at the minute it's so dark and gray. I have to like just utilize the lighting spots where I can. So yeah, that is the reason. I am always sat here at the start of my videos. It's also where I get ready for the day. So I kind of feel like I like to like sit here, get ready, chat to you guys, all of that. Um, got Rafi here behind me on the bed. Bless him, he's so sleepy. He has been with um, our dog sitter for the weekend. And he always comes back so, so tired, bless him. So I hope you're all good. Thank you so much for the love on my last video, um, my first video back of 2023. Sorry, what is going on with my eyelash? It keeps getting stuck. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for the love on my first video back of 2023. I am so happy to be back um, filming and editing and stuff on YouTube. I kind of forgot how much I love it. And then uploading that video and reading your comments was so, so lovely. So yeah, thank you for that. I just have another weekly vlog for you guys this week. It's nothing too exciting, but I feel like that's normally the way it is in January. Like January is my month where I kind of just stay at home. I don't really do loads of stuff. Saying that I was actually in London at the weekend, helping one of my friends move into a new place, um, which is really exciting. But yeah, this week is a pretty chilled one at home, just catching up on like work and all those bits, but also I want to have a good sort out of the house. Like, you know, when you're kind of like looking around the space and there's so much clutter and just so many things just aren't in the right place and you just think, I really want to have a good sort out and organize. So yeah, I thought I would just bring you guys along with me for the week. And I actually prefer vlogs with people staying at home. Like it's really strange. I don't know if that's just me, but like some of my favorite vloggers, if they film a travel vlog, I would much rather watch like one of them just like at home, like putting their washing in the washing machine and cooking and stuff. So I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but yeah, I very much feel that way. It's also going to be a nice self-care week as well because I feel like I've really let that go in January and you know when you get to a point where you just feel a bit crappy about yourself and you just know that you need a really nice pamper and you just need to like start looking after yourself a little bit more that's kind of how I feel. I'm actually getting my hair done um beginning of next week actually so I'm very excited for that because it is yeah in need of being done that's why I just constantly slick it back at the minute. So talking of self-care pampering everything like that I actually recently got a Beauty Pie membership. Now I have heard of Beauty Pie for literally so many years now and I've always thought about signing up but I wasn't really entirely sure what it was and I never really looked too much into it but always kind of heard of it um, until I saw absolutely everybody and their dog talking about this product. This is the Japan Fusion Bioceramide Deep Moisture Mask. I'll get into this in a minute, but that is the thing that kind of spurred me on. And I was like, right, what is the hype about here? What is going on? What am I missing out on? So yeah, got a Beauty Pie membership and I thought I would tell you a little bit about it and talk to you about some of my fave products. So for those of you that don't know, very much like I wasn't really 100% sure, Beauty Pie is basically a membership website that allows you to have access to so many products from beauty, makeup, um, pajamas, candles, things like that, but all at a much lower price than retail value. Because they are a website, they don't have the expensive costs of like shop fit, their branding and their packaging is very, very minimal. So all of their products are made in the same labs that make, you know, really high end products, but because they don't have all of those extra costs that are normally passed down to consumers, they are able to price their products at a really, really affordable price. So. It's kind of a no-brainer if you are someone that's really into like beauty, skincare, makeup and stuff like that because you can try all of these amazing products at a much lower price than you would normally be paying for them. So just as an example, I'm just on the website now and this is the Japan Fusion Mask that I just spoke about and if I scroll down, you can see the pricing. So retails for around £100 but you can get this product for £19.50 as a Beauty Pie member. Um, obviously has all of the information and everything like that in there and then you can also read loads of reviews and the reviews on this product are so good like they're all five star and I can definitely vouch for that I've been loving using it so I thought I'd talk you through some of my favorite products and then tell you a little bit more about the membership and yeah if you want to get involved then I'll obviously leave all the links and everything in the description box and I do have a discount code too so 
first up, one of my absolute favorite products is the Japan Fusion Mask. It's a really, really deep moisturizing mask. My skin has been so dry at the minute. I've already spoken about this on my channel. It's the weather, it's the central heating, all of that kind of thing. So this is a really, really good deep hydration mask. You can use it overnight or you can just do like a 10 minute treatment. It's got vitamin C in it and loads of other good stuff. So yeah, really, really been enjoying this one. You guys will be able to see what I mean about like the branding as well. Like you can see it's super simple, which is where Beauty Pie are able to like save these costs to be able to offer these products at a lot lower prices so yeah the branding is so minimal but i actually really like that because sometimes i can feel a little bit overwhelmed when there's so much going on on a product and i'm like oh my god i don't even know how to use this what to do with it this is just super simple it tells you what it is tells you what it's for and that's kind of all you need next up i have the apricot butter cleansing balm and this has cold pressed rosehip oil and vitamin e in it so i am a big fan of a cleansing balm this one melts your makeup off so so nicely and doesn't dry out your skin which again is really really important for me if you guys do want to just have a little browse of their products you can go on the website without being a member maybe click on their best sellers and have a little look through read the reviews and see if you think it's right for you that might be a good thing to do and then another skincare product we have the triple hyaluronic acid lipopeptide serum i am a big serum lover especially hyaluronic acid serums because as you guys know my skin is dry <laughs> my skin is dry and very dehydrated um so yeah really really nice product and i kind of do this as a routine with the cleansing butter as well and then a makeup product that i've tried i've only used this product a couple of times but so far i've really really liked it so it's the triple beauty luminizing wand and this is kind of like a highlighter um, and after using this now i've got my eye on the contour one as well because it was really really nice to use so it's just one of those like spongy applicators and i'm wearing it today just on my cheekbones just to give that little like extra glow and yeah really been enjoying this and so yeah they do makeup as well there's loads of bits on there so definitely worth checking it out and like i said i do have a code so my discount code is Ruby sent me and that can be used on their annual membership, which brings it down to £49 for the year. So that's less than £5 a month. So it's really affordable and loads of their products on there don't go over £20. So there's so many products on there that are super, super good value. So I definitely recommend giving it a try. I was a bit confused about it all. I didn't really know like how it works, but now I know. And now I've tried some of their products and used it. I'm so, so impressed with it. So yeah, definitely one to check out. I also think it would be a nice gift idea as well for someone, if you know someone that's really, really into like their makeup and their skincare and stuff like that as well. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, beautiful. Do you want to come and say hello to the vlog? Up, up, up. Come on then, up, up. Good boy. Oh, are you gonna say hello to the vlog? Say hi, guys. Hi, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm potentially biased, but is he not the cutest dog you've ever seen? You are so gorgeous, aren't you? <laughs> oh, he's just so cute. You're so cute, aren't you? You're getting a bit tired. Alright, you go down then. So, I went to Bista Village the other day on my way home. I was driving back down south and I stopped up at Bista just to break the journey up really. It was very unsuccessful, I will say that. <laughs> Bista Village is so hit or miss. Like, it's one of those places that, I don't know, I don't know... I haven't bought anything from there in quite a long time. Like, I used to buy quite a lot from there, so I don't know if it's like just doesn't have as good stuff anymore or I don't know whether it's like my shopping habits have changed, I'm not sure but I do love it there like it's such a nice little day out because they have lovely restaurants and it's a really nice like environment but yeah anyway <laughs> I stopped at Vista Village on my way down and although I didn't get anything I did take some videos not very many because it's really really hard to film in there they get really like I don't know some of the stores are very like strict on filming and stuff so I didn't film loads but i thought i'll just pop that footage in now in case anyone's like going soon or just wants to know what's in there basically so i'll pop that in now so i have uh, oh <laughs> i have just arrived at bista village um yeah the hair has not stayed curly for god's sake this is the downside to no extension life is sorry this light is very very poor right now because i'm like half in the sun half not yeah, downside to the no extension life is my natural hair just does not hold a style. 
at all. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm here at Mr. Village because I was uh, driving um, from the north to the south to go and spend the weekend with my family. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I would drop by a Vista, Vista? <laughs> Vista on my way because I haven't been in ages, like so, so long because I normally have Rafi with me when I'm driving down, um, but I don't have him with me this time. Although I do think you are allowed dogs here. Just thought I should add as well. For anyone that doesn't know, Vista Village is, oh my goodness, we're so dark. It is an outlet center. And yeah, you just have like loads of different designer brands and all of that. It's very hit or miss though, you know? Yeah, sometimes it can be really good and other times it can be really crap. So we will see. Here we go. It's getting dark actually. It's like half three. So yeah, it's getting dark. But it's such a nice place to just come for the day, have a little wonder. I feel like you usually get a feel from the first couple shops you go into at Vista and so far it's not been great. There was a cool leather jacket in Acne but yeah not been great so far. into Sandro because I really like this blazer in the window not that I need a new blazer but you know we'll have a little look okay so that blazer was part of their full price collection which I kind of feel like defeats the point of Vista but um, and then I really loved that um, like aviator style jacket but it was £1,700 and I know Sandro's like high end, but I didn't think it was that expensive. But anyway, I'm going to Soho home now. <laughs> Again, not great, but I might get on the way back. Sam has, well, I've kind of sold it, but this green dressing gown, you guys might have seen me wear it. Um, in a few videos or whatever. It's from Soho Home and honestly it's the nicest dressing gown ever. And it's Sam's, but I will steal it and then they have they have them in there. So I might get myself one so I don't need to steal Sam's possibly. They have navy burgundy in like a sand colour. So I might get the sand maybe but I'm gonna go into Bottega now. Going to head into White Company, of course. I actually need a new pillow. Literally just come in here really quickly to try this dressing gown on because I love the Soho Home ones, but they don't have pockets, and I feel like pockets in a dressing gown are quite essential. So we'll see. It feels a bit tight for a dressing gown, like on my arms. Hmm. That just solidified my decision <laughs> that I want to get the Soho Home one instead because. I don't know, that one just looked really frumpy. Okay, I'm headed home now. That was very, very, very unsuccessful. Oh, we didn't get the dressing gown. Oh, will I go back? No, it's too far. <laughs> I'll have to come back another day. Um, I wasn't that desperate for it anyway. It's just one of those things that I quite fancy. But yeah, heading home now. So we'll continue this vlog. So I hope you enjoyed that footage. It wasn't super successful, as I said, but I am about to head out and take Rafi for a little walk. Um, just a quick one. He's already been out this morning, but I do like to like get him out again and I like to go out on a walk as well. So I'm gonna get dressed for that, take him around the block basically. Might stop and grab like a drink or something somewhere. What do you think, Beth? Do you wanna go for a walk? He doesn't even move. Rafi. <laughs> Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go walkies? Do you know? 
Come on then. Come on then. Up, up. Yeah, should we go for a walk? Can I have a kiss? Thank you. <laughs> if you're not a dog owner, you're literally going to be like, you're an absolute nutter. But this little boy right here is like my child. <laughs> love him so much he's not the kind of dog that if you say like sorry you guys have probably got dogs at home and me saying walkies is probably sending them up like the walls but yeah he's not the kind of dog that really reacts to that i don't know why even though he loves going on a walk do you want to go walkies nothing <laughs> right come on then let's go okay it is so cold out there today so i think i'm gonna put on this fluffy jumper I got it from SLA the label. I have never shot with them before um, because their stuff is quite like going out vibes, but I thought this was really nice. And honestly, it's so cozy. It's like fleece lined inside. So I think I'm gonna pop a little like long sleeve tee on and then put that on. Okay, put your paws in, one in. Good boy, bring that one in. Gloves. Okay, so this is the outfit. I really need to move this chair so I can like show you my whole outfit, but um, I want to put it upstairs and me and Sam tried to lift it and it's so heavy that I don't really know how to go about doing that. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, this is the outfit. As I said, I've got that jumper on and then this coat is Arquette. Honestly, if you need a good warm puffer, this is the best one out there. It's honestly so, so warm. I love it. Um, and then I just have some night leggings on, some fluffy socks. I'm not sure what those socks are from, they're really old. And then my New Balance trainers. And that's the look. Are you ready? Yeah? Come on then, let's go. Who's a good boy? <laughs> go on then, let's go. <laughs> I'm just back from my walk and just made a peppermint tea. I was gonna go and buy one, but then I just thought I can literally just come home and make one put Raf in his little area because he's really muddy so that's why he is crying if you can hear him oh, you know when you come back in from a walk and you're wrapped up <laughs> now I'm so hot I could definitely just take this jump off but it's so cosy right I have just sat here and demolished this whole bag of round shoes randoms apart from oh <laughs> apart from the orange ones and the yellow ones because i don't like those ones i only like the reds and the greens <laughs> um but yeah finished up some of that work but i've still got more to do but yeah sam is home and he is very very kindly cooking our hello fresh for us he um has become quite the chef recently so yeah, he's cooking up a storm in the kitchen. I'm gonna go in there in a sec. <laughs> he's just listening to some country music in there as well. Um, it's a new, new obsession. But I've just been sitting here thinking um, about painting this room here. Wait, why can't I point in the right direction? <laughs> this room here. <laughs> you guys probably know, but we kind of have like a big lounge that used to be two rooms, but before we uh, moved in, they kind of open them all up and stuff. And so I painted one white and then I painted one dark because I wanted to kind of differentiate between the two and like one be like a cozy one and one be like more of a light bright one. But I just, I don't know. What? Uh, you hear me talking? I, I didn't know what you were saying. Oh, no, I'm talking about painting that, that lounge white. Oh, <laughs> what do you think? No? Why? So, I don't know, I'm just having thoughts about it, but I just don't know who, if, like, oh, I do like it, like, dark and cosy, but then I do find it is a little bit, like, too dark, and it is a really dark room. This is the room for your reference. I haven't got the light on, so it is really dark. But, like, you can see, like, we did, like, a contrast, so, like, this is the dark room, and then this is the light room. You can probably see it better up here, like, that's the, obviously, the two different rooms kind of thing. We didn't paint above the picture rail, but I'm not sure. We've got like a beigey 
sorry, the sofa's a mess with like a dressing gown on it and stuff. Got like a beige sofa, so I do think that would work with white, but hmm. What have we got going on here then? They're Hunter's chicken, my dear. Hunter's chicken, hey? Mm-hmm. Lovely. I think it's like a mm. gastro edition or something. I'm gonna have that little bit of cheese. I just gave Raffi a bit now. Oh, did you? Did you get some cheese? Yeah. Mm, yeah, licking those lips. <laughs> now look at this. Oh my god, this is why I love HelloFresh and this isn't an ad. But you just literally get like such gourmet meals. Like we would never cook though for more potatoes. <gasps> so good. Good morning everyone. So it is actually 11.30 but I've been so productive this morning. It feels like it should be like 4pm. <laughs> I got up, I had to film some content, I actually filmed a morning routine for TikTok um, and I had some other jobs and stuff to do as well uh, and then I did a load of emails, a load of like admin stuff that I've been meaning to do, took Graffy out for a walk, um, edited the content from this morning and yeah I feel like I've been productive. I feel like that when I say it, it doesn't sound like much but when you do it like all those things are so time consuming. I just realised I hadn't picked up the camera today so yeah I thought I would pick it up come say hey i am just about to sort through a load of washing which is riveting stuff i know <laughs> and our utility room is such a mess i feel like you guys always see me tidy up this utility room but it's quite a small space and the storage isn't great in there so just there's just stuff everywhere always and also we're just not very good at like putting things back where they belong sam and i are probably a bad match because we're both quite messy people and I kind of feel like we need someone in the relationship who's like a tidy person and someone who's a messy person. But yeah, we're both quite messy. So we both are quite bad at like keeping on top of things. So I'm going to tidy up the utility room, chuck a wash on and yeah, then continue with some editing and stuff like that. Okay, so sorry, the tumble dryer's on. Actually, do you know what? I'll just pause it for a second. Just while I chat to you. Yeah, so this is what we're working with. Big pile of washing here. <laughs> random selection of things sam always uses this space to clean his shoes and just leaves dirty shoes up here which is just really annoying these are oh my god look at this sink sorry this is actually a little bit disgusting <laughs> these are raffi's dirty towels that need washing and then this is just stuff that like hasn't been put away like i need to put it in there so yeah i'm gonna give this a good sort out now <laughs> this is my selection of odd socks and basically i just put them up there and then if i find them if i come across them in my next washes <laughs> but yeah i mean they'll probably just live there forever won't they let's be real i don't know why we've got a big bottle of champagne no what is it sparkling wine in here this bottle is so big though <laughs> i don't think i could fit it anywhere else which is why i put it in here but right let's get the wash on this is raffi's equi fleece that i'm just about to chuck in the wash if you have a dog especially a dog like Raffi who's got quite long hair this is the best thing that will ever happen to you sorry <laughs> this is the best thing that will ever happen to you it is amazing it keeps them I honestly Equifleece if you're watching this I think you should sponsor me because the amount I go on about it <laughs> it keeps them warm and dry in the winter and then it keeps them cool in the summer like it's some kind of clever fabric but it's just amazing because like, as you can see all of the mud goes on this and not on Raffi so then when I get him home from a walk like I normally only put it on him when we're going for like a big long muddy walk um but yeah when I get him home from a walk it means that I don't have to give him a bath which is just a lifesaver for me so yeah and then I just chuck it in the wash and it comes out good as new Right, there we go guys. Obviously the floor is not done because this all still needs to go in the wash. Managed to clean the tops, clean the sink, um, and yeah, we're looking a lot better in here, finally. The top is still a mess, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> I just opened a H&M parcel because I just ordered some um, jogger sets just because it's literally all I'm wearing at the minute. I just find them so comfy and warm and cosy and they're great for around the house, but also I like dressing them up with like a smart coat and stuff. And this is one of the jogger sets that I, oh. <laughs> this is actually the only jogger set that I ordered. Um, it's super oversized. Like this is a size small. 
and it's really quite big. <laughs> but I don't mind that. I think it looks okay if you tuck it in. And then I ordered these bottoms, but I don't like the pockets. Like, it's giving me, like I just said on Instagram, I feel like I look like a three-year-old. Like, you know, when their clothes come with, like, little pockets. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they do do them without the pockets, which I did order, but they sent me the wrong size. They're quite thin though, like I don't think the quality is that great, to be honest, but they were quite reasonable. So, yeah, but I'm definitely going to return these bottoms because I feel like a child. <laughs> I am just cooking up a stir fry for lunch. I haven't had stir fry in a really long time. Um, and I've got some salmon in the air fryer as well. How good does that salmon look? I think I've slightly cremated it a little bit. The air fryer is just so quick and easy. I love it. Like people might ask what air fryer we have. It's the Ninja Jewel Zone one. So it's got like two trays. Sam got this for me, not this Christmas, but last Christmas. I think they're actually quite hard to get hold of at the minute. I'll link it if I can. There we go, nothing fancy, but super healthy and super easy as well. So I just got out of the shower, washed my hair, which was so needed. I put it off for so long because it's so easy when you can do a slip back bun these days. You just think, what's the point in washing your hair? But it was really, really needed. So yeah, just washed my hair and now I'm going to just do my skincare routine, which you guys will have already seen because I'm going to pop some clips in at the beginning. Then I have a video to edit. I'm so tired though. Oh, today has just been a lot. Uh, what time is it? It's like 20 to 8. So yeah, today has been... Just I've got so much done and I'm so glad, but yeah, it's been quite tiring. Went out for another walk earlier as well. Um, when Sam got home from work, I went out for a walk with him and Rafi again. And yeah, it's just been a busy day. Uh, tomorrow we are going to head to, um, well, I'm going to head to a kitchen showroom because I said in my last vlog I was going to do that and then I just didn't get around to it. So I'm going to go tomorrow and have a look at some worktops and then I am heading off to my warehouse um for oleada to pack some orders um because i reopened the site yesterday uh i had it closed over christmas just while i was working on some things and yeah i'm heading there tomorrow because it is only me at the minute that's working on it so yeah just <laughs> trying to do all of that by myself as well as like do all the instagram youtube side of things as well so just like a bit of juggling act at the minute. Guys, I've done that thing where I sat on the bed for like what I thought was going to be five minutes and like an hour's passed <laughs> and I haven't dried my hair still. So I think I'm actually going to finish the vlog off here because I think I've got loads of footage. So I think it's quite long and I need to just get on, dry my hair and get editing because it is half past eight and I'm tired. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget about my beauty pie code Ruby sent me if you would like to give it a go, honestly. The Japan Fusion face mask. I love it. It's so, so good. Um, but yeah, I'll leave all the info in the description box, of course. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Raph, do you want to say bye? Bye from Raffi too. <laughs>